hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here i hope that you will subscribe and become part of this family by the way if it's your first time can i tell you much i know you guys will kill me if i don't say this line so can i tell you much if it's your first time here and i do hope that you will subscribe it is absolutely free and yeah i hope you'll you'll join the family so yes you guys you guys have already um have already seen from the title it is not clickbait. I have resigned from my corporate job to become a full-time influencer, you guys. <laughs> this is the wildest thing I have, I have ever done in my entire life. As someone that is very, like, um, calculated in how I do things, like, I think about things, I plan. This is... It's just the wildest thing I've ever had to do. It's just so unlike me. Um, but that's what it that that's what happens when you take a leap of faith and you listen to God, I guess. Um, but yeah, I have resigned you guys and I just want this video to be very like candid. So I don't wanna do a lot of editing. I hope that I don't have to edit it. Um, and I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible because also I need to upload it tomorrow. So as I'm recording this, today is my last day. Um, tomorrow on the 2nd of December, I'm handing in my laptop and I will officially be self-employed. I will officially be out of the corporate, ga of the corporate game. I have been in corporate for eight years and I was fortunate enough to start work immediately after graduating from varsity. So I didn't like have a gap or anything like that and I'm really grateful for that. But my journey in corporate has come to an end you guys um, and I cannot even believe that. I cannot believe that I'm saying this. But yeah, this is, this is the truth. This is my current reality right now. As of tomorrow, I will be out of corporate um making this decision was not easy at all i'm sure you can imagine there was a lot of internal conflict internal battles confusion just a lot of questions um and this started in 2018 in 2018 yeah um i think i was it was just after i came back from my maternity leave and i went back to work and uh, yeah, there was just a lot of things happening and I think now that I sit here and I look back, those are probably signs um, and God telling me that something needs to change, girl. Something needs to change. And at the time, I was, I guess, doubtful and also was just sitting thinking, oh, this is probably just me making things up in my head, you know. Um, until Until, I think, last year, last year, yeah, last year I started hearing this voice it was intensifying it was getting louder and the signs were getting stronger or more visible and yeah it was just like a constant voice or feeling or i don't know how you explain it in when you experience god talking to you um but it was just this constant voice that said you need to quit your job you need to resign from your job this is not where you need to be this is not where i want you and I just like, I was like, obviously had a lot of questions because this is all I know. The security of having a salary every single month, that is all I know. Um, and if I resign, what's going to happen? You know, I'm fortunate that yes, I've already been in the influencing space, but like it is not as secure as having a nine to five. <laughs> so I had a lot of questions, you guys, and I'm sure you can imagine. Like I was just like, um... You know, I have a family, I have a child, uh, or we have a child, my husband and I, but I mean, we are a household where both of us take care of the house. I, and I, I'm sure some of you will be like, oh, it was, it was probably easy because you have, a, you have your husband and he works and whatever, but not really because we both manage the household, you guys. And as someone that also is so comfortable in working, I mean, I love I don't love working, but like, I love the idea of um, doing my own thing, getting my own money, you know, it makes me feel empowered as a woman. And so the thought of not having that security, yo, I battled with that for so long. I had so many questions, you guys. And yeah, fast forward to 2021, this year, fast forward to this year, um, 
I came across Yvonne RG, right, from Insecure. Obviously, if you guys watch Insecure, you will know her. I came across her and I saw that she was releasing a book called Bamboozled by Jesus. And I do not think that it was a convenience that her book got released this year. By the way, before we get to that, right, I think two years ago i just told myself that you know what i may not see exactly what like the future holds in the next few years but one thing i know for sure is that i think i want to quit my job by age 30 like i think age 30 is the last year in corporate and i actually had this conversation with one of my um former colleagues who was a close friend of mine i guess so we were quite close and i said to her yo i think that you know like um i would I think I would want age 30 to be the, my last year in corporate. And I think I said this to my husband as well. But I like when I was saying that, you guys, I consciously, I don't know. I don't think I understood what I was saying. Um, but I guess it was my sub subconscious self or mind speaking. And I don't know where that courage came from or the confidence came from. But like I just said those words. I was like, age 30, I'll be done with corporate. Like I'm done. And yeah, fast forward to 2021, I came across Yvonne Oji's book and I was like, this is, I feel like this is the book I need right now in, in the season of my life and I bought the book and that book, you guys, you probably remember from my previous vlogs, like every time I'll tell you guys that, well not every time, but there was a point where I mentioned that I couldn't even, like I can't finish the book um, without like having mini breakdowns in between each chapter because each chapter was just so personal like she was literally talking about how uh you know she well her parents wanted her to be a doctor i don't want to spoil the book if you're reading it but like she had plans of her own and god just kept saying that no this is not where i want you to be this is the route you need to take and she took like four dollars or i don't know how i don't remember how much th it was but she took that money it was like, like close to nothing she took the money and went to new york and she found herself there and fast forward to today i mean she obviously encountered a lot of challenges but fast forward to today she is living the life of her dreams basically um but like all the events that led up to this moment when she describes them it was like each and every event it was just a sign from god or it was just the direction from god to move her from one thing to the next because god wanted her to get to this level and reading that book i was like there is no way that i cannot not share my story in this manner as well um especially because i'm not making this decision just willy-nilly like um and by that i don't mean like i'm not making it i just woke up and i decided that i'm gonna quit no i mean like I didn't decide to quit my job, but God told me to do it. And it is it is wild, you guys, because um, for the longest time, like I mentioned, I was battling with the decision. But like I got to a point where I was like, okay, God, I, I hear you. I hear you. And I was praying. I said, give me the courage. Give me the strength um, for me to make this decision because I cannot do it on my own. And I was talking with a friend of mine recently about how, um, you know, how faith as Christians or as believers, we're always talk talking about like having faith in God, having faith in God's plans for your life. And we were talking about like how faith requires you to be in a position where if the only person, if things were to go wrong in your life, the only person that would save you in that position would have to be God that's where faith requires you to be and at this point in my life that's where i'm finding myself where i don't i don't have um the security of a salary every single month so i can't rely on that um so i can't even rely on brands you guys because <laughs> i can approach a brand and they can say no we don't want to work with you you know oh i can be out of like brand collabs for a couple of months i can't rely on the fact that i know for sure that i will be working with certain brands but i can trust that because god is the one that said leave your corporate job this is where i want you to be i can trust that he knows why he's putting me in this in this path and so um if things were to go wrong he would be the only person to save me at this point you know and so i am trusting the this this decision uh well not decision but the path i'm trusting that um god wouldn't just say do something and then he would just like 
leave me and forsake me you know um surely he's got big plans and surely he knows why he wants me on this path and so i'm trusting i am just being guided by faith i do not know what's going to happen in january or feb or march or whatever but like i am just trusting and you guys it is the most peaceful i've ever felt in my entire life liberated um and yo i i cannot even explain this feeling like i'm just so at peace not knowing what's gonna happen but i'm just so at peace um knowing that you know that my creator or oh god is he's got me he's got me man um so yeah you guys that's what i just wanted to share with you guys and i know you guys didn't ask but like i just decided to share because maybe it might inspire or encourage someone maybe you're in a position where you know you don't know what the future holds or you're not sure about a certain season or path or stage in your life you're just confused you know pray and trust me if you can just be still oh you guys the lawn mower outside is making noise and i'm not gonna stop so i'm sorry but like yeah um but what i was just saying is that if you are in a very like confused season of your life or stage in your life currently trust me if you pray and you just be, be still you will hear you will hear god you will hear that god is actually talking to you and he's saying something and he's been talking to me for the longest time and i just chose not to hear him um and not because you know i was being ignorant or anything like that but because i was I was nervous i i had fears i was scared i was asking a lot of questions and so i delayed making the decision until it got to a point where he was like you need to resign on the 2nd of november no later than that no later than the 2nd of the november you need to resign and that's exactly what i did i even prepared my resignation letter a week before i handed it in because i knew that <laughs> by the 2nd of november Oh, on the 2nd of November, I, I had to hand the, hand the resignation letter in. So, yeah, you guys, I really hope that, you know, if you are in that, that phase, it's the most confusing time ever. It's, it's so confusing and it's just so frustrating. I know, but like, once you make that decision, oh my God, it's like, you feel so liberated and just so at peace. It's the craziest thing ever. It's like, why didn't I decide, you know, why didn't I make the decision sooner? But everything has a time um, and everything, and God knows exactly what he's doing. So trust the process, trust in him, walk by faith. <laughs> um yeah you guys so that is my story i just want to like think if i'm missing anything out but basically that's the story i have resigned and um i am now fully self-employed and i'm just walking by faith and trusting god and i am so happy that i listened and i heard him and i know for a fact that you know when you when you make a decision uh, or when you go through your life with god in the center or in the front you will never go wrong even if things weren't to go your way um and even if you were to go through hurdles but you will still be at peace you will still know that you are in the right path because the person that is guiding you is the creator it's god you're not just walking on your own knowledge you know um so yeah you guys i think that's how i'm gonna end this video i don't want it to be too loud but i just did want to share with you guys even though no one asked but i did tell you on my live that i have big news that are life-changing so this is what i wanted to share with you guys today um it's it's the bravest thing i've ever had to do like people look at me like my colleagues and like and they're saying this is so brave dude but like we're so proud of you and i'm also just so happy that i have had support from my husband and my family not that i like needed it because when god guides you or when god speaks to you about something and when god plans something in you you really do not need someone's uh validation or like yeah someone to validate that yes that is the right decision because only you understand what god is saying to you and only you understand or see you know um the vision or yeah only you understand so but i'm grateful that you know i do have people that support me and support my decision um but i think that even if i didn't have the support i'd still sit here and record this video because this is what god wants for me and i couldn't 
resist any longer i couldn't fight it any longer i couldn't not see it any longer because i was also like scared that it might do more damage than good me not allowing him to take over um so yeah that's why i find myself here today and i'm so happy that i finally listened i don't know what I've, what the future holds again i don't know like i can't see obviously the next couple of months what's gonna happen but i am trusting that he who has led me in this path we're gonna do big things so yeah you guys i am just gonna let god use me because i know that also you know more often than not when god says this is not where i want you this is where i want you um when you have your own plans and when you're like no god, but god like i get the salary every single month all these benefits and he's like no sorry actually that's not where i want you to be it's because he wants to use you so um yeah that's me guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and i really hope that someone got inspired and got something out of this video something meaningful um but yeah uh that is my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> i will see you guys in my next video which will be a vlog first vlogmas that will go up after this video so i will see you guys then um i love you guys and i'll see my next one bye guys <laughs>